Welcome to Advanced Training, Character Modeling, Part 8. I'm Matthew Doyle. In this session, we're going to be talking about UV mapping, which is basically the process of unfolding your 3D character into a 2D image plane that can then be textured. To do that, we're going to use several tools. First of all, we've got our UV Texture Editor window up on the left panel and our perspective view on the right. We're using the Cut UV tool to create seams on our character's mesh. We simply select the edges we want to cut, go to the Polygons menu and hit Cut UV. I've also created a Shelf button that makes it easier. You want to create the seams of your character in places that aren't noticeable, such as down the back or under the head. Sometimes you'll have to create seams regardless of whether they're noticeable or not, such as when I'm cutting the ears off here from the rest of the head, in order for it to unfold properly. We're going to use the Unfold 3D algorithm to unfold our character into a 2D image plane, but before that we need to continue making the cuts of our character here. Now I've also got the texture border edges being displayed. You'll notice that as I make cuts, the edges I make the cuts on become brighter and thicker. You'll find this also in the UV Texture Editor window. It's the button next to the little checkerboard button along the top. So we're making our cuts here in unnoticeable places, hopefully. We're cutting the tail off from the rest of the body. We've also made cuts under the underarms and across the length of the bottom of the arm. We've cut the hands off from the arm. And we'll just continue making the cuts in this manner. So basically, every model is going to be a little bit different how you make these cuts. But what you want to do is essentially cut it in such a way that the algorithm will flatten it out without any problems. So I've made cuts all the way down the lengths of the inside of the legs because the texture seam there would be less noticeable. Now I'm cutting off the bottoms of the feet. So I'm selecting all the edges around the bottom of the feet and I'll just cut those. All right, looking pretty good now. Let's move on to the hands. We're gonna basically cut the hands so that they butterfly out. So we're gonna cut along one edge here on one side and just follow around the bottoms of the fingers, selecting the edges. All right, first finger's done. Second finger is done. Moving on to the third finger. And then, of course, we'll move on to the thumb here. And we're going to stop our cut right there. And that will allow us to butterfly the hand. We also need to cut under the nails here. We have a special case here so that the nails can also butterfly out. All right. Three nails down, one to go. Okay, all our cuts are made on the hand. Now you may want to not cut the hand off separately from the arm. You can always go back and make adjustments there. Now you can see here that I've actually added a mouth to my character. And so now I'm going to have to cut the interior of the mouth off of the rest of the head. So I'm inside of the mouth now making the cuts there. I'm also going to make a cut down the center of the bottom part of the mouth so that the mouth can butterfly out into a flat surface. All right. We'll select these edges here that connect to the face and make our cut. If you ever make a mistake, you can always select the edges where you make the mistake and use the Sew UV tool found in the same spot in the Polygons menu of your UV editor window. Okay, so now that we've made all our cuts, we can turn on the checkerboard pattern here using the checkerboard button to see what the distortion of our texture would look like in the perspective viewport. But now we're going to use the unfold UV tool. We're going to first select the UVs of our mesh in the UV texture editor window. Bring up the unfold UV tool and then hit apply and it unfolds the mesh for us. Now all we need to do is make some adjustments here. Rotate the UVs for the torso which are upside down using the rotate tool. And we'll just slide that off to the side for now. And we just need to basically position everything on the window because the Unfold UV tool packed everything for us. But in this case, we're going to pack it ourselves. 
Now the head isn't quite right. You can see here it didn't properly unfold. There's something wrong. And the problem with it is that it is missing a cut and we will fix that in a little bit. First of all, let's go ahead and move some of these other pieces off. That part that I just moved was the inside of the mouth. There's the bottom of the feet. There are the ear parts. And of course, there's one more part to the ear here, the interior part of one side. And then we have our hands fully butterflied out. We'll move all those off of our UV space here. This light gray area is the main UV space that we're working with. Okay, so to correct our head, we just need to make a cut down the center of the back of the head here. So we'll select this bottom edge here and then select all the way up to right about where it meets the forehead. We don't want to go all the way forward and then cut that. We can now select those UVs and then apply our unfold algorithm. And there we go. Our face and head are nicely unfolded. You can see all of the major shapes. You can see where the ears go as well as where the eyes and mouth are and so forth. I also ended up using the optimize tool inside of the polygons menu to further improve upon that unfold algorithm. So once we're finished, we're going to have all of our UVs fully laid out in the UV zero to one space for our texture map. And that should look something like this. Now you want to make sure the texel density is about the same for the entire set of UV coordinates. That's what the checkerboard pattern is good for. If we look in the perspective viewport, all the squares should be about the same size. So with the body UV mapping complete, we can move on to other parts of the character, such as the interior of the mouth. Now, I didn't show you how to model the interior of the mouth, but the process is pretty much the same as the rest of the body. But we're going to go ahead and UV map it now. And I'm going to start with the tongue. The tongue is just basically a cylindrical shape with one side of the cylinder cut off. And first of all, we just need to cut a seam. And in this case, we don't want to cut it on the top of the tongue, but we're going to cut it underneath the tongue right at the center line here. So we'll go ahead and cut that seam and that will allow us to unfold it to a flat surface. So here we'll bring up the UV texture editor, select the verts, use the unfold tool and we get our unfolded tongue. We're going to basically assign the tongue and the teeth and the interior of the mouth to a separate texture from the rest of the body. So we'll select the teeth and we'll use the isolate selected button. So that's all we're looking at now. And we're just going to apply some basic planar mapping to the teeth, which is not going to work out very well for us, but it applies some basic UVs to our object that we can work with. And now we're going to select a seam by cutting an edge down the back of the teeth here, selecting those edges and using the cut UV tool. Now we can select the UVs, right click, choose UVs and draw a box around them and then use unfold. And there we go. We have our teeth fully unfolded. Moving on to the eyes, we're just going to start out with the back of the eyes here. We'll select those faces and give it some basic planar mapping. You'll find that in the material shelf tab. And then we'll select the verts of the iris and use the unfold tool on that to get a nice even UV mapping there of our iris. Great. Once we've finished UV mapping each individual piece, we can simply select them all at the same time, bring up our UV texture editor window, and then be able to lay them all out properly in the UV space here. And that will do it for those pieces. All right, so we'll move on to the last part, UV mapping the collar. But you'll notice when I select the tag here, it's got some brightened and thickened edges. That's because it's showing the crease edges. And I don't want it to do that because that'll get in the way of me seeing where my texture border edges are. So in order to be able to hide this display, we'll just go to the display menu and then go down to polygons and disable crease edges. And now we get back to a normal display format. So we're just going to go ahead and do what we've done before here. We'll select the UVs and then we'll use the unfold tool. There we go. So we've got the front side of the tag and the back side. We just need to rotate them and then move them off to the side for the time being so we can work with the rest of the collar. This back side's not going to be very large. Anytime you have a texture area that isn't going to be very large or very visible to the player, in the case of the back of the tag, it's not really visible, you can always make it really small. 
Sometimes you can do that with the feet as well, but it really depends on whether or not the player will ever see the feet. Obviously, if the player will see the feet, the bottom of the feet, I should say, you want to make sure that those are of a decent size so you have a good texture density. For the chains here, we've just basically got to cut the, since they're really just cylinders that basically feed into themselves, we're just going to cut a center line here so that they can basically be butterflied out. And then we'll also cut the cap where we want it to break apart. We'll basically cut around that edge ring. And we'll basically allow us to create a tube that then butterflies out. Using the unfold tool, select the UVs, go to unfold, apply, and then there we go. We have each chain link. And we'll just move those off to the side as well. We could overlap these and since they're basically identical, but it really depends on how you want to work. You may want to have different pieces painted differently. So in that case, you'd want to keep the UV coordinates separate for each chain link. For the collar here, we just basically need to create our cuts once again, where we want them, just the way we did with the body. So we're selecting the edges of the hoop, or the loop, I should say. And we'll create cuts on that using the Cut UV tool. We can go into wireframe mode here so we can get a better view of what we're doing. All right, almost done with the loop here. Cutting the seams where we want them using cut UVs. Now we need to do the same thing for the belt itself. Like I said, for every model, you're going to have different UVs that you want to cut, different seams. So really where I'm cutting here is pretty much arbitrary. It's, it's the decision that I've made for this particular character, but different characters will have different cuts. So don't look at what you're doing now, what I'm doing now as a hard and fast rule of where you should be making these cuts. It also depends on the viewing angle of the character, what the player will see and many other factors. All right. So we've used the unfold tool on the collar. All right, so now we've selected all of the objects and now we can align them onto the same UV texture space. So now we're just aligning all of these chains from the collar so that they're a little more organized. Then we'll scale them down, position them into place. And then we'll do the same thing for the tag itself. In this case, we're just selecting the UV shells, not the UVs themselves. And there we go. And that'll do it for the UV mapping of our character.